Good evening and welcome to the Metaphysical Art Theater's presentation of Change Your Mind and Change Your World. Are you aware of the mindsets you're operating from, really? I mean, it may be just a flash when you hear something that's a good idea. Hopefully, it's a positive idea. And if it's not, are you going to go down with it? Would you keep repeating in negative scenarios? You'll just go down with them. That what happened to me? <laughs> well, you're just replanting those seeds again and again. Well, reiteration and reiteration so that you can keep track of what it is you are allowing yourself to think about generally most of the time. Because that will be your harvest. What you're thinking feelingly about isn't falling into the past. It is being projected into our futures. All things produce after their own kind. What are your seeds like? Your ideas. What kind is it that you're planting? Because what has your attention does have your life. Try and deny it. You don't have to believe any of this just because of hearing it. No, you're given to test it. It's suggested that you test all of this out for yourself, discern for yourself. Oh, I didn't understand most of what I heard in the beginning. Most of it just went right over my head. But what didn't, well, I just discerned it into dust generally. But I was hungry to know. I was resolute to know first person. I knew that I had heard something that was worthy of my attention. But most of it, I just, as I said, analyze its dust. What I'm suggesting is just check out what you say that you find agreement with in your own heart. I wanted it better. I wanted to know better. And some of it came to me. Some of it came through me. And most of the time, I don't remember which. And actually, it's not important. It's what you do with it that counts. From this moment forward, I'm not here trying to take credit for anything. I'm here as a living witness. If you already know this, then you know that I'm just another witness. I'm not here as an example. I'm here as a witness. And the one thing I'm witnessing, too, is that there's more, more, and more being offered than we're availing ourselves of. Well, the story is, son, all I have is yours. All. All. I was instructed to do, to be, to have better in my own imagination, in my imaginal activity, in the theater of mine, and have I done so? When I did so, I received so. But most of the time I'd get distracted and forget where I was going or what I was doing. Mentally, yes. <clears throat> or even just lost in thought. But what I'm witnessing to you is, is that your say is a valid say. You're about saying your valid say, and your world is reflecting exactly that. You can deny this. No, this is not about me, the man, Lendl, or anything I've done. I'm not here as an example, as I said. I'm here as a witness. Well, through the word that I received by the hearing of the ear first from my teacher, Neville Goddard, and then I began to act upon it, and you'll see that that's what this is, then you'll be thinking better from better. Well, just see it to follow through. Well, you say you find agreement within your own heart, wherever you heard it from. I'm not trying to tell you what to think. I don't have anything to join or to belong to or donate to. The messages that I heard from Neville Goddard were so simple, so clear, so powerful divine history, not just secular history. I mean, I already had plenty of complication in my life. I didn't need any complication. We all have enough, I'm sure. Well, generally, when you sit in a silence, what do you do? Worry about something? Well, foreboding this and foreboding that, running off negative scenarios about this, that, or the other. If you're dealing with negative scenarios... Well, actually, then you're dealing with things you really want to be rid of. Give them no attention. See, actually what you're doing, you're replanting them. Every time you run off a little negative scenario, you're replanting it. All things produce after their own kind. And then sometimes when you hear good ideas, good suggestion, you put it off till later. But then later comes, and then you put it off again, and eventually... You forget it. Scenarios of this and scenarios of that, it's really not productive for the good life, that gloom and doom stuff. Why me? Why this? Why now? 
And then later it comes by and you have to put off the things again. Busy, 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 I understand that. No time to feel after. No time to invest in yourself for contemplation and meditation. For better than the best yet. You say you don't have time to contemplate and meditate, but you have time to suffer. <laughs> you have time to feel bad mentally, physically. And if you're not living your life the way you really want to, that's suffering. And what you're given to do, well, if you can find time to suffer, why can't you find time to invest in yourself living your life like you really mean it? When you say you can't believe this or you can't believe that or you feel that this is impossible or that's impossible, contemplation and meditation will bring a change of mind. You'll begin to see things different. You'll find better than the best yet. Enough to discern for yourself better, to dream the dream better. You're told to dream the dream. I do hope you have a dream. Well, possible. Yes, it's possible to the one who's telling you, choose ye this day. You turn to me and I'll turn to you. If God turns to you, what would be your problem? You will be lifted up. You will be expanded. Well, what is it that you're looking for? <clears throat> and you're thinking and feeling. Well, it's an invitation from God. You turn to me, I'll turn to you. If God turns to you, it's you reaching beyond your present state of consciousness. Everyone is in a state of consciousness. It's reaching beyond that's important to a new state of consciousness. To dream things better than the best. Do so consistently, persistently, in imagination, in the theater of mind. Yes. Well, yeah, generally it starts as a daydream. I mean, just begin to be persistent, consistent, to follow through. Well, to really dream the dream until you can feel I am that. Even for moments at a time, being it, that's the story. That's how it starts for all of us. Just start claiming the better than the best. Or you can just watch television. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with television. I think it's a wonderful invention. I think it's really very entertaining. I think it really has greater potentials than they're using it for. Yeah, I feel most of it's being wasted, yes. Yes. It's all about our attitudes. Well, we're doing much the same thing in our own thinking and feeling process. We're creating, but are we creating things that are lovely and of good report? Something that's useful to ourselves and others? Is that really what it is we're doing? Sometimes it's just a simple idea. I remember working for this lady, and she told me that she had been going to a psychiatrist for years. And that the work that I did at her home as a contractor did more to lift her spirits than being on the couch for two years. <laughs> you see, sometimes it could be something so simple. Just a walk in the forest, a walk in the woods, a walk by the ocean, a walk by the river, contemplation, meditation, feeling after, better than the best. And no, I'm not telling you you have to go anywhere. It's all in mind. It's all with you right here, right now. There's no, and, and yes, the power is in the silence. Be still and know that I am God, we're told. In the stillness, yes. Complicated I didn't need. Just be still and know that I am God. And the message is, listen often, reiteration and reiteration. That's the style for changing your lifestyle. To be continued, yes. Thank you. And good evening.